Hello guys, today I show you how to make a draggable and resizable GUI interface in Roblox Studio uh, to use it in your games. As you can see in my demo experience, in the left on the left side I have a draggable window. You can drag it by any point of the frame and on the right bottom corner we can see by hovering the mouse a uh, corner uh, icon and dragging this icon we can resize the window and by right mouse button click we can restore the original size on the right side of the window of the demo game we can see a bit more advanced version of this draggable window we can drag it by dragging the header of the window only so not by any point but only at a specific uh, object so we can drag it here we can resize but we, we can define a different color and by dragging we can see a red border the color can be changed so we can see the actual size a little bit better and by the right mouse button click we can restore the original size so this is the demo game we can leave it how you can find it okay so the demo game of the drag resize overlap GUI plugin uh, you can test it or try it on your own and how to get a free copy of this GUI model in Roblox Studio just search in the toolbox for GUI resizer and dragger great so GUI dragger resizer and you will have this one by clicking on it we will have the GUI resizer light folder we need to move it to the starter GUI I made it already and in the folder we will find a GUI resizer folder it contains the module script of the handler we will analyze this and the resizer object that is a quite simple one and the demo user interface and the release note file ok I drag it here ok so here we have a draggable window GUI and we can read the release notes so this is how to use it put the GUI resizer to the starter GUI and run the project to see how it works so we do it we run the project by pressing F5 ok so this is the draggable window and this is the uh, mouse resize ok and let's see why it is a challenge to create such a GUI that can be dragged and resized this is the handler <coughs> file it's not an extremely long one 100 lines so in the top of the code we can set the dragger size what does it mean if we give it a bit bigger number uh, we will have a bigger dragger on the 
right button, bottom of the window. Okay, <coughs> 30 is okay. We can set the transparency of this icon and this is the code, the make resizable. We have two arguments. First is the object, this is the window, the frame that we want to make uh, resizable and we can define a minimum size. If we don't give this argument, the minimum size is set as you can see here and we define the mouse button the left mouse button down the drag uh, start function here so if it's not already started we start the dragging and here is the trick of this uh, code that we hide the dragger uh, object here by changing its transparency to 1 and we change its size to the absolute size of the full screen of our uh, game so we can't miss the dragger with our mouse even if we move very quickly and <coughs> we have a uh, user uh, interface uh, corner added to <coughs> this object this is why it's rounded so we deparent it from the object let's see what happens if we don't uh, change the transparency and if we don't uh, remove this corner object this is where you will understand how this dragger works so as uh, we click on this object you can see that it's parented to the screen GUI and the size is uh, full size while the corner still uh, has an effect <coughs> so we we will do it this way so we remove temporarily the corner object <coughs> So, as you can see, uh, yes, that is, that is the trick of this uh, moving. So, the dragger object is on the full screen. So, we can't uh, miss any point, uh, even if we move it really fast. <coughs> okay, so we come back. Okay, so we changed back the code as its original state so the transparency will be set to 1 so we hide the dragger while we are dragging and we uh, remove temporarily the corner object from the dragger object and while we are moving the mouse and if we are dragging with the mouse we will update the object size so the frame size accordingly uh, we calculate the mouse distance from its original uh, start uh, position and we change the object size from its start size accordingly and when we release the mouse button so the drag finish we we run the finish resize function that is quite simply one we uh, set the dragger to its hidden small parented uh, state and we set the start drag variable to nil 
uh, stating that we are not dragging anymore and these two small connected functions are just uh, hovering effect uh, when we mm, entering to the uh, uh, dragger we will show it uh, and then we leave the object we will hide uh, the dragger so that's quite simple okay so this is the light uh, and free code of this resizer what it uh, cannot do for you is uh, written here in the release notes so in the pro or full version we can define the color of the dragger as an argument we can specify a child object within the frame to be the dragger and we have the optional border around the frame that is not included in the free version and the automatic overlapping uh, handling is quite important but not always uh, that important so if you don't allow users to overlap their windows it's not an issue but if it's uh, possible then you need to take care uh, not to move them together with one drag uh, <coughs> event and the right mouse click restore function is not included in this light version if you need that just uh, find it how to get the full version just get to the toolbox and the find the as a plugin the GUI resizer by Apify and you will get it uh, as a plugin and by clicking on it you will have the, not the light but the full version